okay y'all we are cooking wings in the wild today yep we're outside in the forest and you can hear the generator in the background and every once in a while you're gonna hear a dog bark but that's the way it is when you full time in an RV and you're cooking okay so let's get started we're gonna uh, I got a bag four pound bag of chicken wings okay salt and pepper yes I use these little multi things here cup of parmesan cheese and that's about a cup right there a plastic bag one tablespoon well I use a half okay I'm gonna use a half a tablespoon of pepper and a half of salt and cooking spray okay the first thing you're gonna to want to do is dry the wings yes you take a paper towel and you and you dry them that's the way it works all right so paper towels I got a bowl here that I'm putting them all in so let's dry our wings off you just I'll put them in a paper towel and dry them off. Put them in here. The ones on the bottom are going to be the wettest because they're sitting in the liquid. The ones on the top are pretty dry already. Continue to do this until we get them all done. In our bag, we are going to put set these over here. Plastic bag. We are going to put all of this Parmesan cheese, I do believe. Okay. A little bit left for spaghetti later. <laughs> And if that's not enough, then we will put some more in there. It's not that hard. And I have to say, my friend Kim Papenhausen, uh, I hope I said that right. I'm going to put it all in there. There we go. She's the one that showed me how to do this. So, thank you, Kim. And their channel is Some Days Here. I'll put a link in the bottom. Okay, let's put uh, some salt in there. And the only thing I don't like about this is because it takes forever to put it in here. <laughs> it's gonna take forever. Oh, you know what I forgot? Garlic. Got to have garlic. All right. Some salt. And the pepper. And I'm going to have my helper give me... Oh, whoa. I'm going to have my helper give me the garlic. We have the garlic, and it's much easier to get this out. Alright. I'm going to do a half a teaspoon. Okay. Put that in here. And then we're going to shake this up. And get it all good. Good and shook together. Okay. There we go. Alright. Now you want to do is spray your tray. This is a Power Air Fryer Oven Elite. And we're out in the wild, so here we go. Alright. Now, I'm going to put some of these. Let's get our stuff out of the way here. 
I'm going to put some of these on the top shelf and some of them on the bottom shelf and then I'll rotate them. Okay, just put these wings in here. Yep, all eight of them. Get me some more paper towels to wipe my hands. There we go. Okay, and then you just shake, shake, shake. Yeah, get them all coated. Real good. Okay. Okay. And that's what it's supposed to look like. Very good. Put one there. Yeah, buddy. Oh, they're going to be so good. Okay. And if it looks like it doesn't have enough, enough Parmesan on it, just stick it down in there and coat it again. Okay, there's one tray. Wipe them hands again. I'm going to put this on the top rack. Right. And guess what? We're going to spray this one down. And the only reason I'm not using parchment paper on this is because I want it to have um, I'm going to put it on the airflow here so that it evenly cooks. We still have to turn it. Okay, let's put some more in here. And I will tell you, a little over a cup of Parmesan is about right for um, for, an, for a four pound bag of wings. Which I had a hard time finding, by the way. Yeah. Meat's kind of scarce in this part unless you want to buy the premium stuff. They didn't have very many of these left. Let me see. That paper towel's kind of drenched. Okay. Yep, leave the skin on. Okay. Ooh, about dropped that one. So we have a little more than eight in this in this bunch right here so but it's okay they can sit in the bag until it's all done it's not gonna hurt a thing okay i got some messy paper towels there and this right here this is the best part about buying wings like this if you can't eat them all you can you can just put them back in the freezer just get out what you want works awesome awesome Get them all coated. Oh my gosh, these are the best wings ever. Ever. We love this recipe. And I know it's been a while since I've done one. Just seems like it never works out. Okay. There you go. Just lay them out on your, on your rack. And don't let them touch. You're not supposed to let them touch, okay? Because you got to get air in there. Now, the generator is going to rev up, but, hey, that's the way it is when you're out here. Okay, and now, I want to do these on 350 for 15 minutes. When this comes back up, okay. oh, 15 minutes, and I want to turn them halfway through. Oh, come on. Let's see here. Okay, there's our 50. And I'm going to put it on um, airflow. 
where it goes round and around, you know, uh, evenly. Cooks it evenly. There you go. <laughs> All right, and there's the light so we can see in there. See, I don't know if y'all can see. There we go. We have a rack on the top and a rack on the bottom. And we're going to let this go for uh, seven minutes or so, and then we're going to flip them over. Okay, it's been seven minutes, so I'm going to open the door, and it automatically stops. So let's take the first, the top rack out. Oh, y'all like my of gloves? These were my daddy's. I love these things. Okay, you see, they're starting to brown up. So we're going to flip these over, there we go, still don't let them touch, they don't like to touch each other, you know, social distancing, ah! <laughs> alright, let's see here, now these two are touching each other, we're going to fix that, okay, we may have to do these a little more than seven minutes. Hmm. All right, don't touch. Okay. Oop. Okay. Put these right back up there on the top rack. And then we're going to turn these here. put them on the center rack because it doesn't look like they're doing anything on the bottom rack. So let's just uh, get them turned over. There we go. No touching. Okay. Put these back on the center rack. There we go. And there they go. Automatically starts back over. Well, that's seven minutes left. Okay. Back in a jiffy. Okay. It's going off. It takes 18 seconds for that to go off before you can open the door. So, what I'm going to do, because it doesn't look like they're browning like they're supposed to. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the temperature up to 400. See? Oh, they are getting there a little bit. How about that? Okay, so let's turn them one more time. Yeah, I think if I turn it up to 400, they will uh, they will crisp up really good. So sometimes you got to divert from the recipe. Just depends on what's going on. See, did I turn that one? And we're going to turn the temperature up to 400. Okay. And we're going to do it for seven minutes. Okay. Oh, on one. Okay. Put it on 400. And I'm going to bring it down and let's do this for seven minutes and see what happens. Okay, it's going off. We'll check it. I can tell you right now. I'm going to have to flip it and go another seven minutes. Okay, here we go. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Don't want to be in front of the camera here. Let's move y'all over here. There you go. Alright. Well, they are getting there. Look how nice that looks. I'm going to flip them over. And we are going to put them on for another seven minutes. I want them to be crispy. Crispy, crispy. But these were the ones that were on the bottom rack. So, it may take them um, a little longer. So, let's get these over here. Come on, get back over there. There you go. Okay. Get on the top rack. Get the 
bottom ones out. Whew. Oh, see? It's starting to look really good. Yes. Yay. Now that one. See, that one's still white looking. It's like it's not cooking evenly or something. I don't know what the deal is. Whew, I know one thing. This is getting hot. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's looking good. Oh, yeah. Seven more minutes and this should be this should be perfect. So what's that? Like 24 minutes we've done this. But we did the first um, what 12 minutes? We did the first 15 minutes on um, 3:50. Now this is the last 15 minutes. 14 minutes basically. Here we go. We're going to take, we're going to do this for seven minutes. So I don't want to overdo it. And we're going to put this on 400. And we're going to put the airflow on. And we're going to start. Ooh, you hear that generator rum up? Rev up? Wow. Okay. should be good here in just a few minutes okay she's done let's see what we got it smells really good okay let's see oh my is that not looking good mm. but I tell you what I'm gonna do I know you don't want to hear it and I'm going to flip it over again. Because some of these had some ice chips on them. So I just want to make sure they're cooked through and through. And, whoop. Oh, come on. Don't stick. Don't stick. Ooh. There we go. So I'm going to put them on for at least, at least five more minutes. I know, I know, I know. But, you don't want to get sick. Tell you what, that thing is hot. There we go, that's better. Woo, had to get me some protection there. It is looking really great. Get them in there for about five more minutes. And that one still does not want to brown on that side. I don't understand it. But it's okay. We will get there. We will. Okay. Let's put it back in here on the middle rack. Five minutes. 400. Air and start. And there we go. One more time. So what does that make? 35 minutes? Wow. Wow. Okay, it's going off. We shall see what they look like. Hopefully they're done. Oh, ho, ho. look at that. Oh, that looks good. Mmm. Alright, we'll put these off on a plate. Oh yeah. Nice and crispy. Okay, let's see what the what the middle rack looks like. That one still does not want to get toasty. I don't understand it. So tell you what I'm gonna do. I am going to put them on the top rack for five minutes. And I'm gonna put the other wings that I have left over to cook on this rack. So let's get those going. Three left, so we'll put them on the middle rack and get those cooking. And let's see, to make it easy on myself, we're going to put it at 400 and we're going to do, we're going to start out with five because the top rack only needs about five minutes if that. So we'll keep an eye on it and 
see what happens. Let's take these out and make sure they're all good. So we about to eat. And it's not no fancy meal tonight. Just uh, having wings and Shirley made some uh, some queso dip. Ooh, it's going to be good. We got ranch. For, oh, now that is how they're supposed to look. Woohoo! All right, let's take these off. And we have three left in here. We'll just turn those over. Put them in the middle. And we'll just let these cook up too. I'm going to put them on the top rack. And I'm going to put them on for 14 minutes. On 700, uh, 700 degrees. Right. <laughs> on 400 degrees. These fine folks are going to do the taste test. Let's do it. Taste All test. Right. Taste test. Uh, they need... look good. Mm. Well, I'm going to taste it with just the garlic on it and see how that is. And Parmesan. And Parmesan. Yeah, they're garlic Parmesan. Mm. Crispy. <laughs> They're done throughout. Very good. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's taste that uh, that uh, queso right there. Shirley made the queso. Okay. Smells really good. Should I eat some? <laughs> well, I'm not supposed to let me finish with all this. You know, all these scraps. Oh, oh, really? Okay. <laughs> it's good. All right, y'all give us a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. And we we, <laughs> we will talk to you soon. Let's eat. Enjoy.